Hey everybody, we're out here at the Good Earth Garden Center. Of course, I have got Mr. Greg Curtis with me. We're going to be discussing in this first one hydrangeas and how to take care of them. They're beautiful plants. I see these everywhere, but there's some little maintenance you got to do with There them. is. This time of year, the hydrangeas are really starting to get into full bloom. Yep. So I'm talking about a couple things that are starting to show up. Uh, we can see here's that little spot on the leaf there. Okay. And that was when we had all that rain here, what, two, three weeks ago. Mm -hmm. It's going to go as well. It's not going to go away, actually. Okay. It's going to stay there till the leaf falls off in the fall or you can cut it off. Okay. Normally it won't spread, but if we catch another rainy period like we had uh, early June, you'll want to spray with a fungicide to okay. keep it off. The little holes that we're seeing in here are either going to be from slugs and snails, mm -hmm. which you can use a snail bait, or from little beetles, which you'll need to spray an insecticide on there. Okay. But probably one of the biggest questions right now, uh, Hayden, that people are asking, when do I prune? So I'm gonna mm -hmm. give you just a rule of thumb. Okay. Uh, some bloom off of what we call the older wood, so okay. wood from this year, and some bloom off the fresh growth, the new wood. Okay. The, the endless summer, which is right here, actually blooms off the old and the new, as well as that one, that real pretty one you have on your oh, side. Oh yes, that one looks great. So those are hybrids, but if you're not sure if it blooms off the old wood or the new wood, just be done by the 15th of July. Okay. Get all your pruning done. Okay. If you have something that pops up, like the one next to you, and you're like, well, I just don't like this big, you can cut that off. But any hard pruning, you want to get done before the 15th of July. Okay, so yeah. make sure to take care of all your pruning. If you have any issues with insects or bugs like that, make sure that you're taking care of it with a little bit of bait too. You really do, and then, and then go ahead and fertilize again. Okay. So if you fertilize this spring, late June, mid-July is another great time to fertilize. The other question that comes up, how can I keep the color darker, make it darker? Right. And uh, if you're taking a picture, you can use Photoshop, of course, yeah. <laughs> which we've seen happen. But you really want to start changing the pH. Okay. So coffee grounds, a lot of people want to use. Mm -hmm. but the easiest way is right there in front of you. Okay. Aluminum sulfate. Okay. It has sulfur in it. Put it out now. It'll, it'll start affecting the pH this year, so you'll really see a difference next year. Wow, there's a lot of great yeah. tips here, making sure that you keep your hydrangeas beautiful, and all of it's located right here at the Good Earth Garden Center. Don't forget, we've got much more coming up, so make sure to stick around for that.